So the new album, American Motorsports, out June 28, four days from now. This is Bill Murray's new one. I love Bill Murray. I've uh, been listening. I was a big Attack Attack fan. And then since uh, Faint, which was like Bill Murray's first kind of breakout single uh, in like 2019, was what my song of the year that year. All right, this is Bill Murray, 2016 Cavaliers, Ohio, featuring Knox. I hope you guys like lawns, lawn care, dad bods, and country music. The fact that this is the same lawn as Better Hell tells me that's actually his house and not just someone's house that he went to to do the video. The American shirt is here. <laughs> Bigfoot, he's doing the Bigfoot walk. He's just doing the Bigfoot walk on repeat. <laughs> Is this whole video just him doing the Bigfoot walk? Oh, okay, we got squats, we got the dog. Good boy. It's a good spring. <laughs> oh, it's a powerful point. Where does he think of this? Where does he think of these ideas? Oh, I know that feeling. Oh, oh, this would be Knox. Phasing in. Oh, dude, the Jew. Knox is stealing the power squad. Oh. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Stacking. It's a knock stack. This is making me very nostalgic for like my teens and like very emotional nights and like, you know, heartbreak and all of that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. The background I was listening to like yellow card. <laughs> what state is he in when he edits the vids? Ohio. <laughs> Dude's got Ed Sheeran sound to him. That's just because he's got red hair. Did anyone see Ed Sheeran was on stage with Limp Biscuit this weekend? How amazing. Wonderful. Bill Murray, 2016 Cavaliers, Ohio. 
I loved it. I loved it. The vibes. The Bill Murray vibes. There's something about it. It's rocky. It's just cool. Like, it's just fun. It's lighthearted. It's very real. It's a little bit emo, but it's self-aware. So it's fun. It's just... And then the videos, he's such a character. I love what he's doing. I love what he's doing. My joke used to always be that he released like 10 EPs a year. Um, I think there's still two EPs that I missed because I kept waiting to do videos on them and then I missed it and then he released another one. I was like, oh my God, there's another one. I think Eggy Pocket was the first EP. Like up to Eggy Pocket, I was 100% all in listening to everything. But then I had a YouTube channel and Eggy Pocket came out. I didn't listen to it because I was going to do a YouTube video or something. And then it didn't happen. And then Goblin Hours came out. And I was like, oh my god, there's another one? Didn't Eggy Pocket? Like, that's still new. I haven't even got to that one yet. And then 400 pound Back Squat came out. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. Like, he's releasing, like, several EPs a year. This is a madman. Um, Galleons, pay some attention. Like, you don't have to make a 15 track album. You can just release seven EPs in one year, like Bill Murray. And everyone will love it. But yeah, I actually think that there's some Bill Murray I haven't heard. I think it's those three EPs. I think it's, apart from the singles, I heard the singles for Eggy Pocket, Back Squat, and Goblin Hours, but I never heard the whole thing, which is insane. Because I listened to the old stuff so much, like Pasteurized Milk, or Unpasteurized Milk, whatever, was incredible. Ed Biscuit or Limp Sheeran? Let's call it Limp Sheeran. Kind of depends, but we'll see. This is, I think this is Bill Murray's, oh no, his first album was an album. His first release. I was going to say it might be his first album. 